Hello and welcome to where we are right now, which is India. We're at the airport. It's about what time? 7.30 in the morning. We're going to the metro. We're going to New Delhi city center and the line, and then we change to the orange line. I just got my first handshake off a random guy. Very lovely. Shook my hand. He's like, welcome. I was like, okay. As you are seeing it for the first time, so am I. I literally know nothing other than researching Delhi for a bit. We're staying in the south side in the Panchil area in a hostel. It's called um, Mad Packers. So we are now at the other train station and it is pretty busy. So if you're coming to the Panchil area and you have a hostel in the same area as us, you'll come in on the yellow line after. Very, very good metro system. Like but here's the train for us right now. This is rush hour morning, so you can see pretty crowded together everywhere anyway. <laughs> Stuff's all on the floor. As soon as you come out of the train station, which is right here, this is what you see here. According to the maps, as soon as you come out of the station, you're going to be going left, which is down this way. But you got all the tuk-tuks here. It's noisy, it's cool. It's India, it's Asian, I like it. <laughs> So when you are crossing the road as well and you are walking, it is definitely hectic. There is some sort of zebra crossing, not that they use it, but you can cross. And we're just walking straight down here then, so it's uh, neither, neither there. So a couple of hours have passed now, we're walking down from the hostel. They have a nice social area, they have a rooftop garden. They have a little bit of a kitchen area as well with some very good food. So it is very random, it is not signposted. It's actually at the side of this building right here through there. It's, pretty, it's very nice, some very nice people. Sebastian, say hi my friend. Hey, what's up? We met him on the plane. He's a beautiful American friend from Arizona. Now we are going back to the, the metro station and we're going to go to the old city which is in the north part of the city and we are going to be literal tourists today and see the touristy stuff and we've got 26 minutes uh, on the train and it's pretty good actually it costs 40 rupee which is not even 50 pence so ridiculously cheap to get around we're going to Chadnicha which is the old city area old Delhi area and it's little tip for you if you have to get on different lines in Delhi at the train station you're like what color is where we've actually just found out if you follow these footprints right here they are the colored line that will take you to where you need to go so when you come out the train station this is what you get like noises galore going on mess of stuff it's different that's for sure you're just trying to find your way around it's just very 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 busy this is utterly crazy look at this like there, there is no organization wow they don't stop for you either it's point seven zebra crossing thank you sort of wait till it dies down then go that is what you do but it definitely can be overwhelming so just take it easy <laughs> Just to put this in the context, Delhi is massive, but when you come into the old city as well, it is known for like the little streets off the main roads and like inner walls, inner streets like this. Maybe you're looking like where to go, but like you have little streets leading off that direction, that direction. Red 4 is just down there, and we're going on a turn in down here. Because it looks so hectic, we have to go down, it looks cool. So Sebastian's idea, he saw it, so it uh, looks awesome, <laughs> different, but yeah. So we're still in the street, we found a place where we're going to get a SIM card. You need to have your passport, your visa, a little mini picture, like passport size picture. So that's taken a while and apparently it's a technical issue because my visa isn't correct. Even though I've been letting the country so it is correct. And also the little kids that are walking around like, looking at you weirdly. And I say weirdly because I've had one of them put their middle finger up to me. So that's a first. So you literally have now at the edge of the shop. The car's trying to get through here, it's just not happening. Utterly mental. We are going to the Red Fort now, which is back down there, but this is... <laughs> like we're just walking in between this. Uh, we just have all this backlog of traffic everywhere. Noise, everything. Not really see too much like this, in a way. <laughs> very hectic, very, very intense, in a way. It's crazy. They actually... Nothing actually stops for you properly. They would rather plow through you than actually stop. Okay, we got Sebastian stuck on the other side. So you see, they don't want to stop. Look, 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 look. 
that, that is what it is. Right, so we are at the Red Fort right now, which is this beautiful building right here behind me. I was expecting to have my phone to tell me some history about it, but it is very, very beautiful. Very cool. Loads of random people like this trying to take pictures <laughs> as well. So it's very uh, interesting. is a celebrity right now like okay. she's got a fan <laughs> fans are gone you have fun yeah. <laughs> this is interesting it's cool we've got a lot of uh, kids walking by now teenagers i don't know if they're all very friendly waving and that but you good okay. good see good <laughs> and now we're going to go back into that mess over there and uh, find some tally some little street food <laughs> We have just come now to a uh, food place that does tally, which is basically three different types of curries that are vegetarian. Uh, we are sitting in a restaurant that looks something like this. But it's 90, 90 rupee, which is roughly a pound. So you can see you got your rice here. We have like a creamy sauce, a mild one that's sort of more spicy. The mild one with the rice. Really nice, still a bit creamy, but it's good. The medium one. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a nice flavor, don't mind it. And then the spicy one. Mmm, mm. very good. So that is your basic tally, but it tastes fantastic. We were trying to look for the spice market, but you keep getting told, ah, oh, five minutes, five minutes. And we've walked 25 minutes and still not got to it. Then they don't do SIM cards here. The first one I went to was 350 rupees to do. The last one I just went to for the same SIM card at a different shop, 1,250 rupees. Just, it's just not a set price. It's just very hard to do simple things at times. We have just found our first <coughs> cow was back down there, but also goats. So I think they are seen as cows as holy animals, so they are not eaten. They are left. It's actually against the law to do anything to them. But in terms of a place to stay, I would come here and visit and then go back to the south where we are as it is more chilled out. Oh yeah, health and safety of that just going on. Now finally, after all day, found an Aerotel shop. It's actually cost me 235 for the data and then it's cost me 200 to buy the card. That means altogether it has cost me roughly less than five pounds for a month and one and a half gigabytes a day of data. That's how it works. So we are back on the main road now. And then there's a random cow as well in the middle of the road. The red fort is at the other end. The spice market is down here. <laughs> Which found spices because it's going up my nose. So you can see all these beautiful colors going on, vendors, spices, and uh, give you nice aromas up the nose. There's sometimes a bit of a sniffle as well. It smells great, so you can see, beautiful. So, the dessert that I have gone for right now is an Indian dessert called Labadi, which is basically an almond nut, milk and sugar. And it is whisked together and to create this. Mmm. Uh, uh, uh. Still like rice pudding-ish, but get rid of the rice, milk and sugar instead, that's what you've got. Sebastian, give us a smile, mate. See, like that. <laughs> oh my God, that smell. It smells great, but you got people coming in and out all the time here. Bags, boxes, people, a bit of everything. So we have an Indian samosa and a combination of an Indian samosa with cheese and added beans as well. Oh wow, oh, so good, wow. And then we have another one with cheese and a bit of everything going on in it. Outstanding. And they have a great amount of snacks going around as well, so they fry them like that. And there's like 10 rupees, the other one was 20, so it's pretty cheap. The only thing that I don't like is the rubbish that's left around, so people eat in here, leaving their rubbish, there's like a bin there. But generally people will just throw out their rubbish onto the street. Just all like this, and there, whatever, it just happens. So it is a thing they do here. And we've just found our first few cows now, instead of goats. So they're busy eating and leaving poo all over there. So we saw them, but we tread in cow poo. So just watch out on the floor, because it isn't the cleanest. I'm gonna get back to the train station and then get the train back. This is it, we're driving through all the traffic. <laughs> so we have literally just got back to the hostel now. 
I am dead. We're gonna check in. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed seeing a part, a small, small part of Delhi. Like, comment, and subscribe, please, as it helps me. And uh, yeah, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Good night.